uh, as I get through this pile of stuff, I'm kind of like feeling really bad for the amount of cozies I have. Oops. <laughs> but like, look how nice this print is. Uh, honestly, like last year, I remember posting a bunch of photos in this outfit when I was like shredded. I had like a six pack. But I was in such a bad place mentally and physically. And people commenting on my like body like shredded and stuff. And I literally just defined myself by that. Like I was like, I have to just be super shredded. Like I couldn't run well anymore because I was so sick. I'd been injured. And I just like was so depressed. And I was like, at least, you know, I'm something because I'm known to be shredded or whatever. And you know what? It wasn't worth it. I was so sad and unhealthy. And it's not good for me or my body. So YOLO, whatever, I'd rather just gain weight, be happy, be healthy, run fast again. Anyway. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today I thought I would do a bit of a life update, because why not? Also, just because life's been, you know, it's been really hectic, but good lately. And I was like, you know, I may as well share this because this is all part of the journey and also of just recovering. And not even just from like a mental health disorder, but just in life, you go through ups and downs and you go through times where you feel down a lot, but you have to keep fighting because it does get better. And yeah, so I thought I'd share now because it's kind of, I guess, an up. And yeah, and I was thinking before I started filming because I was just like, last year like when i was in a really bad place like last year mentally and physically because of the mental side um i just it was so dark and i didn't think i couldn't imagine it to be you know i did believe it would get better again but i just couldn't imagine it being better again and i just thought it is a lot better again and just there were times that i felt very like hopeless and meaningless and it was just not it was just dark and you know part of recovering from any mental health disorder is the mental side of things and you have to do it for yourself you know it is up to us whether we choose for life to be a happy and beautiful thing or not so you do really have to work on mental the mental aspect of life for it to be beautiful you know so I have exciting news kind of not that exciting but it's exciting for me. I started back on a, like a training program. So I'm like training normally again because I reached the weight my coach was like, let's just try to get to this weight. And um, which was like 53 kilos. So, so yeah, so I reached the weight that, you know, I know weight isn't a good thing to go off because your health depends on so many other things, not just your weight. But for me, I needed something to push myself and I needed something to work towards to like gain weight to get to a healthy weight. So my coach and I picked, well my coach mainly, picked the weight that I last was healthy at like before I had any eating disorder or lost weight or anything and the weight that I was when I like competed at nationals and stuff. And it took so long, it was so hard to do, but I finally like got there. And the thing that kept me going was that I wanted to be healthy and be an athlete and do the right thing for my body and live life and be happy again and it really it ha is happening because it's just life so much better when you can like enjoy life and not be stressed about things and you can do the things that you love and not be worried about how you look or eating or whatever and like it, I've been going out um, and like it's so fun to like go out with to get brunch with your friends and not be panicked about food and stuff like that and I was thinking when I was in a really bad place and I could not eat enough I was forcing myself with so much training and my body could not handle it and I remember being at training and being so hungry and feeling so weak and doing the 800 sessions and like feeling really hungry and I'd like skull a whole bottle of water to try and fill me up and it was just like such a bad place and I wasn't running well at all and you know if I it was just because I felt comfortable being so lean and shredded and um but now like it's honestly like so much nicer just being happy again and living life and not being panicked about like anything like that and yeah so it is this i just really want this to be like motivating to why it's you know recovering from any mental health thing is so much is really really important and worth it for yourself but um yeah so i started back at training and so at the moment it's just like a full program now i'm doing the sprinter stuff because i have lost so much speed 
like I really just really want to get my speed back so like right now I'm doing like four or five track sessions a week with like mixing between like tempo speed speed endurance and then I'm doing three gym and weight sessions a week and um it's really fun to be back and like be focusing on being trying to get better and stronger and faster again and then it's inspiring me to keep eating heaps again my coach was like don't stop eating heaps you still need to work on getting a period that's still important to me and like that is kind of for me when I define being more like a point of like being recovered is getting a period back also I know it's very mental but I just that for me is high up there obviously not just being at the weight you were before but I know it's coming like I do really feel like it is and I just feel so much better so so my coach was like you have to keep eating heaps because you're training more now again even though you were already training before you just you, you need that much energy anyways and she was like I'm just going to keep doing weight checks to make sure you don't drop because I find it easy to just drop a lot of weight especially like mentally and it is hard sometimes to maintain weight with how much I need I don't know because I think my mind forgot what it was like to be normal and got so used to not eating much that sometimes when I eat enough it feels like too much and I'm like I don't want to like you know have a problem and be like overeating this sounds so negative now no I don't mean that I just mean you have to really push yourself and you just you need to eat and it's a lot more than you think and you have to realize sometimes when you feel like I shouldn't be eating this much like yeah you should and your body you sometimes your mind doesn't know what's normal what's normal anymore and it's not like oh my god I've eaten too much it's like no that's enough for you you just were eating so little for so long that you didn't re that it seems like a lot to you but anyway so my coach was like maybe we'll try race your speed back as in like do heaps of like compete a lot and get speed back so I'm gonna do some races to get you know hopefully get faster again and like before I was injured and stuff like my I was running like in the 12s for, for 100 but I wasn't a 100 spinner sprinter like I wasn't fast off the mark or like a short sprinter I was a 400 sprinter but obviously to be good at fours you have to be fast at ones and twos so I really 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 want to get speed back again because I honestly love that so much I love running so if I and I, I want to do well in it and I know I can if I you know because I was doing all right before but like I really want to do well in like the events that I enjoy and feel passionate the most passionate about which is like the shortest events like from 400 and down and the hurdles and I know if I my coach was like look you're a really disciplined athlete if you can't get your speed back we'll go up to like 3k steeple plus and I was like, you know what, I'd cop it if that was all I could be good at. But I really don't want to do that. Like, really don't want to do that. I loved being a sprinter and being fast and powerful. And honestly, also, the long stuff reminds me a little bit of when I was, like, under eating and overtraining and I couldn't do well. But, you know, I can do it positively, obviously. But I just, I the best feeling in the world was, like, running a PB and running fast and I just really want to get my speed back so that's also motivation for me to keep staying healthy and eating a lot so I can be a healthy weight and be strong so I'm doing all the sprinters short speed stuff at the moment you know obviously we still have some longer endurance and tempo but it's all really fun and nice to be back and I really hope I get speed back like I really want to just not be a long distance runner <laughs> no just be a good sprinter like I do want to be a decent athlete though like but my coach did say I might take like a whole year and stuff, so I'll give it time. But if I can't get fast again, I don't want to be not decent at what... Like, I'm not saying it's bad to not be decent, but after I was decent, I don't want to not be anymore. Especially because I know I mentally can push myself to do well in something. To, to get better at what I want to be good in, so hopefully it's I can get my speed back. But you know what, I'll keep you tuned in with that and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so... I kind of, I was sent some sunnies and I was like, you know what, I want to try these on, but also, you know, it's getting into summer now. And I was like, and I went to the Tiger Lily warehouse sale the other day and I, to my bank, this dress is actually one of the things I got there. But um, the reason I'm saying this is because I was like, you know what, I kind of want to do like a bit of a bikini haul because I have so many lovely new bikinis and then the sunnies and it's all like, you know, summery, whatever. But part of me was like, nah, like, don't, like, why would I do a bikini haul? I'm not, like, you know, shredded and lean and super skinny anymore. But then I was like, no, like, why do I, like, no, I want to be comfortable in my body when it's healthy. 
and I was so emaciated then so like I cannot keep comparing myself to my body when it was really bad like as in really unhealthy I was like YOLO this isn't about your body like first of all love your body embrace it but don't focus on it as well like this is about these awesome cozies and I was like you know what? what before I started filming this I started like getting out all my cozies and mate I did not realize I had this many cozies I haven't even worn half of them I like I need to stop shopping like it's bad like in saying that like I <laughs> really like shopping <laughs> it's just fun like and it's not just because I'm and I don't want to be like a materialistic person but mainly I just like it because you go with your friends and hang out for a day and chill and just like not worry about stuff but at the same time, in saying that, I literally, until I had a job and, like, was out of school and had my own money, I literally, like, did not really shop and had, like, no clothes. Like, I, my parents don't buy me clothes and, like, don't, are they, I'm not name brand people. I wore Kmart stuff until I had my own money to buy clothes. Like, literally, I don't understand when I see, like, little kids or, like, kids, not little kids, I mean, like, little teenagers or people without a job. Who have like Tiger Lily and like name brands and at the warehouse sale there were all these like 12 year olds and I was like why are you here like my mum gave me like a Kmart t-shirt until I was like you know had my own money and then I went and bought stuff like mate anyway I'm just looking at this pile there's so many so I'm just gonna try on some of my favorite cozies and like you know share where they're from so maybe you'll get some inspo for where you want to get cozies from for this summer um, and I will be getting my cozies from literally nowhere. I'm not buying any more new cozies because I have so many like for like the rest of my life That is so not true. But anyway Um, yeah, I'll just let's get started. So this is the dress that I got from Tiger Lily warehouse sale It's so random. It's like not me at all. I don't have any long dresses, but I was kind of like vibing it I don't know. I was kind of just feeling this dress. I don't know. I feel really fancy Because like I have like no dresses like I only wear sh sports stuff or like shorts and t-shirts so Anyway, um, I'm going to show you this pile and then start showing you the cozies and the sunnies. Okay, so this is like the huge pile of cozies I have. This is the bag of stuff I got from the Tiger Lily sale and these are the sunnies. Let's get changed. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Actually, maybe I should like not hold it in the mirror and put it up on that ring stand. Okay, so this first cozy is from Rhythm. I realized when I was um, just going through that pile of cozies, I don't think I've ever paid full price for a cozy before. Like I literally always wait till sales or like warehouse sales or like Boxing Day. So I got this last year at Boxing Day. So I thought this was a really cute color and style. So it's just like these yellow bottoms and they have that like scrunch. I don't know if you can see, but they have that like scrunch thing. And I think that's like, I don't know, I like that style. And then they're just like plain yellow, got some little bits of cut out to make it cute. And the top is like, it has like little cut out bits there. And it's just like a nice style and it's simple and a really cute color, especially for when you get tanned in summer. So this is from Rhythm and I got it on, yeah, at Boxing Day I got so many things because everything's like 50% off. Okay, this one is from one of my favorite cozy brands. It's an Aussie brand. Okay, this one is from one of my favorite cozy brands. It's an Aussie brand. It's called, it's called EPV, but it's like, it's like all Pax V or something. I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but everyone just says EPV swimwear. And I got this at their warehouse sale. <laughs> Honestly, like last year, I remember posting a bunch of photos in this outfit when I was like shredded. I had like a six pack. But I was in such a bad place mentally and physically and I was just really dark and people were commenting like, you know, obviously like all the people commenting on my like body like shredded and stuff. And I literally just defined myself by that. Like I was like, I have to just be super shredded. Like I couldn't run well anymore because I was so sick. I'd been injured and I just like was so depressed and I was like, at least, you know, I'm something because I'm known to be shredded or whatever. And you know what? It wasn't worth it. I was so sad and unhealthy and it's not good for me or my body. So YOLO, whatever, I'd rather just gain weight, be happy, be healthy, run fast again. Anyway, <laughs> so this cozy, I honestly just, when I was in like year eight, I was like, loved this brand. I saw it because like a bunch of older girls from like high school near me always posted in it. Their original thing is like cozies that are half side, like have a split in the middle and they're like literally one color on one side and one color on the other. And I thought it was the coolest thing and I think they're cool. So I have heaps of those ones. But I just like like that brand now. The girls that run it are so lovely. I met them at their warehouse sale. And yeah, so it's just like good vibes, you know? 
and I like this colour and I just thought this was cool, you know, a bit different, just like a bandeau type thing. With straps though. <laughs> okay, I might just put on a whole bunch of APV stuff now and show this brand. Okay, this is my very first pair of APV cozies, so the half half. I freaking love it, I think it's so cool how it's half sided. So I actually got these for free because I won a giveaway and it was the first giveaway I've ever won from them when I was in like year eight, so like 2013, back when like you know, <laughs> did not know how to use Instagram. But yeah, so this was the first pair of EPV cozies I had. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. This isn't EPV. I just, you know, wanted to put on a top that kind of was the same colour as the cozy bottoms. This is from Frankie Swimwear. I also got this in like year eight or something. So these cozies are like the first pair of cozies I had that were like actually a cozy brand. And they weren't like, you know, I don't even know. Kmart, Supre cozies. <laughs> do Supre even do cozies? I don't know. The first pair of actual cozies I had, they weren't like cotton on body or something like that. So... Yeah. Okay, these are both EPV and I freaking love it how it matches, like the white, white and the pink. Like I always thought it'd be the coolest thing to have half, half and then match the top with one of the half colours. So the cozy bottoms are just pink and white and the top is like, it's got like, the top has some little patterns and stuff in it and it's like a halter neck type. Oh, it's like kind of crossed over at the back. Um... Uh, as I get through this pile of stuff, I'm kind of like feeling really bad for the amount of cozies I have. Oops. <laughs> you know what? At this point, I feel like I'm going to try on these new Sunnies that I got sent. So this Sunny brand contacted me and they said, actually no, they're not even a Sunny brand. It's like a glasses brand. They said, hey, do you want to collab? And they were like, basically most places that ask you to collab say, choose what you want from our website. So, so they were like, choose two pairs of glasses. And I was scrolling through their website and it was literally all, you know, reading glasses but not real reading glasses fake reading glasses and I was like <laughs> I know like it's a look and it looks good on some people but at the same time like you don't need glasses like I don't want to be that wanker that wears glasses that are fake glasses to look good you know but you know I guess it's a look but whatever I was like I can't do that like so they do have sunnies so I looked through their sunnies and they had some really nice sunnies so I picked two pairs so I'm going to try them out now. So the brand is T-I-J-N. They came in this box. They had a lot of really stunning glasses. I'll link them below with all the deets about them below. So these glasses are in these little, these little pouches. Don't know if you can see it, it says T-I-J-N on it. Let's hope these sunnies actually suit me. So the first pair I got are these like tortoise shell out on the outside. Ooh, it just made the light really cool. I like them. I mean, I feel like it looks weird with the ring light behind me, but I actually really like them. Oh, I love sunnies for this reason. Like you could get sunnies as just a headband almost, like a summer headband. <laughs> So these are like the Mitchell tortoise, opal tortoise, because it's like a tortoise print. And I just like the um style, like kind of big, but not like like a bumblebee big. My posture is always so bad. So that's the first pair. The second pair, mate, I'm the most indecisive person, so it was really hard to like pick two things. So the second pair of these like plain black pair and I really like glasses like this but the only thing is I always put my sunnies up like this so I always get like thick plastic ones not these thin ones because this bit here always gets stuck in my hair and I always have to rip my hair out but these plain black ones I don't remember the names I'm going to put it below so I kind of oh yeah I just I like the look of the like thin sunnies and I was like you know what YOLO so these ones have like a little rim rim up there. My normal pair of sunnies are like kind of brownish and then those like tortoise shell outside ones are like a little bit brownish. I was like, I probably need a pair that's just black. So these are just like, it's hard to see in this camera light, but they, they aren't like in this mirror. I really like them. Like <laughs> They're comfy as well. And like the light is nice. It doesn't make it weird. And they're good protection for your eyes. I purposely went and bought a pair of Cancer Council Sunnies. And these also have good UV ray protection. I made sure when I was buying them because literally your eyes can get damaged. You can get blind spots if you're like in the sun a lot and at the beach. It's like really glary. You should wear sunnies and driving especially. And you have to pay a little bit extra for sun to get a good 
quality pair of sunnies because you want to protect your eyes. If you just get like, you know, cotton on body ones, they're like a little bit more like fashion based, but they don't have good UV ray protection. It's just really bad for your eyes. So these sunnies are from TIJN and I'll link them below. But yeah, they're really cool. Thank you for sending those to me. Okay, I'm going to keep trying on some more cozies. I'm actually going to go show the Tiger Lily cozies that I got at the warehouse sale. <laughs> Lol. I actually got a one piece. Like I'm not a one piece girl, but I tried it on and I was like, mate, it was really different and nice and cool and like such a good bargain for what Tiger Lily normally is. Okay. This is the Tiger Lily one piece. I'm just going to turn my hair back. Okay, so this is the Tiger Lily one piece. Like, I'm not a one piece person. But, you know, I was at the warehouse sale and everything's, like, on a massive sale. So I, like, grabbed it to try on. And I put it on. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, like, fancy and nice. It's, like, a really different print. And I really love rainbow. So it's, like, colourful. And the back is also... Gangster, like, oh, the tag is still there. Lol, rip. Okay. Yeah, so it's like rainbow. I love rainbow. And then the back is also really cool. Like, okay, why am I so amazing with tags? So it's like crossing over and there's like little chain things on it. I'm going to have to bring this down. It has like little chains there. But like, look how nice this print is. So yeah, I got this one piece. <laughs> got some other stuff from Tiger Lily, so I'll just okay, I'll do the Tiger Lily stuff. I didn't even finish all the EPV stuff. I just have too many cozies. Okay, this is another one of the Tiger Lily cozies I got at the sale. Honestly, sometimes I don't even know if I love cozies, but it, if I love stuff, I'll just get it for the brand, which is like so lame. So. They actually had this one in the same print as that one piece and I was like tossing up but then I was like no I was like you know I just got that in another cosy I should get a different style so I got this kind of green print and it's you know it's kind of different Tag Lily's got quite different stuff. I love having tags sticking out everywhere. Okay I'm not bothered to take it out so that's the back. And it has these cute ties here. You can't really see. I have to move this down. It's like tied there. Oh, and I got one more Tiger Lily piece, which, because my friend that I was with forced me to get it because she was like, you know when your friends love something on you more than you do and then they, they kind of force you to get it? It was like that. <laughs> Okay, so this cozy top, my friend um, loved on me, and I was like, it's okay. But yeah, so she kind of like influenced me a lot, and yeah, I got it, so I like this circle bit there, it's cool. And then I put it on with these random cozy ones I have that I freaking love, and I have absolutely no idea what they're from. But I love them because they're those like scrunchy type ones at the back, and then they tie up, and they're like a cute little green colour. Okay, this cozy I got at Homebush DFO. I freaking really like. So it's from Sea Folly, but it was 20 bucks from Homebush DFO because I wouldn't pay full price Sea Folly, no offense. But I literally just grabbed it because it was like 20 bucks. Okay, and it's like got, it's just a really nice color. It has like some cute crochet kind of style patterns there. The top, it has, the top's like a nice normal bikini there, but it's got like two straps there. And the bottoms are like adjustable sides, which is really cool. And then they're just kind of like a cute colour and print. So this is the Sea Folly one. This is another Tiger Lily top. This top is from Billabong, another Boxing Day sales top, which I actually got on the Boxing Day sale online. And I actually haven't ever worn it before. Oh my gosh, this pile of cozies is ridiculous. I'm going to have to just like bail on this now.
This is just a classic Billabong cosy. I I just liked the colour and how it was just like a classic bikini, like you know, just a normal bikini adjustable. Got this from Boxy No Sales again, and the back has a little Billabong thing there. Just a tie up. Can't go wrong with one of these. All right, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna show like two more. I can't anymore. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. These cozies, I both, I didn't pay for either of them. People, they were given to me. I didn't steal them or anything. Um, uh, quite a few cozies I have because friends have given them to me because they grew out of them. So this I think is from a brand called Two Chilies, and it, it's got a really cute back and a cute print, and also a bit different up here. And then these cozy bottoms, I'm gonna have to stand on something. They're from a brand called Beach Philosophy, and my sister gave them to me. They have the coolest print. I hope you can see from back there, and they're actually reversible. So on the other side, they're just plain pink. So you can wear it as just like a plain pink cosy bottom or this really cool colour. And I'm going to finish off with one last cosy because I'm I'm kind of done right now. <laughs> and like I feel like no one's probably watching this anymore. <laughs> okay, last one. Finishing off with a good old APV fave. Just a plain... Not plain, obviously. It's just a bandeau. It's just a bikini bandeau. A really cute blue colour with stripes. So... You know, good old APV, good old bikini, can't go wrong. Another thing I was just thinking of is I know a lot of these cozies are like, you know, they're a little bit pricey. Like, Tiger Lily is a lot of a bit pricey. <laughs> but, like, I wait till, you know, big sales before I spend money on it. But at the same time, buying cozies from really cheap brands like, you know, Zaffle and online stuff like that, it's really unethical. So it is better to just spend a little bit extra and especially using like smaller, you know, local brands like EPV, like it's an Aussie brand. Or just like paying a bit more for things that aren't going to be sweatshop manual labour. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> so this video was very random. I hope you enjoy and got some inspo or ideas for cozies that you like for summer. Oh, it's going into summer in Australia. So obviously the rest of the world is not going into summer. But, you know, summer comes around again every single year, so... So, yeah, if you've got any inspo for cozy brands or different types of styles you like, check them out. Check them out and... <clears throat> and also check out this Sunny's brand because protect your eyes this summer. Um, and I also... You can also get $5 off. I think I have a code. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put all the info in the description box for these Sunnies. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.